Well, I just thought I'd make some a video just so we could have a quick look at what was happening. I like to do things virtually. I think it's something we should consider in all of the committees so that we can have everyone understanding in a visual way instead of looking at details and, and reading codes. Uh, look, uh, Mike Harding has come up with, uh, I think, a valid point and it's something that we can talk about very easily and, and I think we can come up with a solution. And I've got a couple of suggestions. So first things first, let's look at why the timber framing code doesn't want to get involved in this. They've usually got a strap that goes over the top plate and a strap that goes underneath the bottom plate and the frame is fixed to the concrete and therefore we've got a continuous strap all the way to the ground and it stops the roof from lifting off. Okay, in the situation that we're talking about is double brick. Now I've drawn a couple of different strap types here and at the moment this is what we're talking about is we've got a metal strap here that goes into the brickwork 50 millimeters and it goes over the top of the top plate and it's unusual for it to be fixed down the inside especially if we're talking about double uh, brick with face brick on the inside because if this strap came down the inside of the brickwork we would have a similar problem uh, that you don't want to see a metal strap inside your house. If it was rendered it might be a solution um, so that could be something that could be considered. Alright, uh, another thing that could be considered and I think the problem lies in this strap here. If the top plate is pulled off by the, the wind load of the roof, uh, essentially the only thing it's holding in is this 50 millimeters of strap here. And really it's very hard to determine the strength or the, the uh, I, I guess the tensile strength of the mortar. And maybe something along the lines of this might do the trick where we had to pull more mortar out and maybe do the same thing. So it could be a T-section or a bracket that was made up in a nut and bolt it'll probably work. Um, an engineer will probably needs to look at that, but a solution that we might be able to get around without having to worry about an engineer. So maybe you could have an option, whereas if they want to use this uh, method, an option would be engineering. But if you ran the strap all the way down to the base to connect into the slab, uh, like this with a diner bolt, uh, there's only one problem, and I don't see it to be a big one, is we're going to penetrate the, the damp proof course yet it's going to be penetrated below the slab regardless. I'm not sure if it is a big problem or not, uh, but I think that the minimal amount of water that would go there wouldn't be enough and maybe a silicon uh, seal over that there. That would definitely do the trick and we wouldn't need to get engineering, I wouldn't think. I guess the only thing that we would need to be talking about would be the thickness of the strap and I know it comes in two different types uh, and there's a heavy duty strap which is around about a millimetre, might be 0.76 and there's a really light duty strap which is regularly used for holding down top plates. There's only one other issue that I can see and the th as sort of you know light uh, becomes an issue, windows are getting bigger so we're having windows that are actually going you know 3.6 wouldn't be unusual even in a project home uh, but a project home wouldn't usually have double bricks so it might not be an issue yet if we get windows we don't have the ability to run a strap all the way down to the base um, so therefore you know it might require engineering regardless I think that um, there is a solution I think we can get this passed reasonably easy uh, and I'll just explain one other thing Edit and hide last. okay so essentially what we're talking about is this roof lifting up and taking the top plate with it and taking the straps with it so we're talking about the wind load and I think that one of the factors that might not be um, considered here is if we're using a skillion roof you would think you would only have one point of hold down and the bigger the roof uh, the more wind lift uh, the more chances it's got a lifting off and in that case you might want to look at threaded bars or something along those lines. Alright I hope it helps out guys. Um, I think it is a solution. Uh, I'd be interested to hear your feedback. Uh, the video is private, but you can share the link if you want to. Cheers.